Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr, and you're watching TheVog.net. Here with me is Anna. Now, we're here at Victoria, South Florida. Tonight is the night they're doing the grand reopening. Yes, we're under new management here, and the new owners have done a really nice job of upgrading the store to make this one of the nicer Victory dealerships in the country. With me is Anna, who's a regional manager for Victory, and here, this is the 2009 Hammer. Now, is this the Hammer or the Hammer S? This is the Hammer S. Okay, tell me about it. What's new for this year? The biggest change in the Hammer S this year is that we upgraded to a 106 engine. So it actually has stage two cams, which gives it 97 horsepower and 113 pounds of torque. So this thing's gonna really, you're gonna feel the difference You're gonna on this. feel this, and you're really gonna feel it when you get into some of the higher speeds. Now, the, what's the difference between this 106 engine and the 106 that you'll see on the Vision? This actually has the stage two cams, whereas the, the Vision does not. So that's really the biggest difference. And now, the two. that's more torque? Right, exactly, more torque. We do have a great new accessory. One of the new accessories is the stage, or I'm sorry, the two in one pipes that look great on this bike. It's not on this one, these are the stock pipes. So basically, that would just one. bring the two pipes together. It, it has one. actually two pipes that go into one. Yep, and it looks great. But that sounds good. Now, about the cowl seat, this pops off so you mm -hmm. can have a passenger or it looks custom. It does, yep, it pops off so you can either be a solo rider or you can have a passenger with you as well. And this actually mounts in the front um, as a small windshield if you do want to take it out. There's a mounting kit for that as well. Oh, so that's nice. So if you're riding and decide you want it back on, you could do it yep. with no problem whatsoever. Now, what sort of person is looking for a hammer? What sort of ride does this deliver? Typically, this is someone who's coming off of a sportier bike. Um, you know, they're ready for something a little bit more comfort, comfortable and a lot of power still, and as well as an aggressive ride. So a lot of times you'll see people coming off of like a sportier bike onto the Hammer, not quite ready to go to a typical cruiser. Is it fair to say that possibly somebody who was into sport bikes want to get into something a little bit more comfortable, but don't want to jump all the way into the cruiser? Is that the market for the Hammer? That's exactly right, yep. Okay, what are we talking about for a bike like this? As far as price goes, yes. um, so this actually is $18,495. Okay. Well, I tell you, this is a gorgeous bike. I love the new paint color. And as I've told other people before, it reminds me a little bit about the Conquest Customs Cobra, but this is straight out of the factory. It's really a great price for what appears to be a custom bike. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have said that this is one of the more custom looking bikes that they've seen out there. A lot of people compare it to the Viper Blue, which I personally can see myself. I don't know if that's exactly what they were going for. You know something, it's the first that. time I've heard that, and I do agree with you on that. It very much looks like the Viper Blue and, wa blue and White. Okay, Anna, let's start at the front here. Aren't there some more changes up here? There are. Um, one of the biggest changes this year is we've got a lighter and brighter headlight. Um, we also have new wheels. They're almost 17 pounds lighter together than they have been in the past. These are the X-Factor wheels? That's right, the X-Factor wheels, and they actually do retrofit. So if you've got 2006, I'm sorry, 2007 or 2008 Hammer S, you can put these on those bikes as well. That sounds um, we Now also, back here, I noticed this right up front. Yep, you can tell, I mean, when you walk up to this bike, we actually upgraded to an LED tail light. So this is not only um, brighter, it's twice as bright actually, but it's a little bit lighter as well. Okay, do you, with LEDs, do you think you'll ever have to change a bulb in this or should this thing last for many, many years? This should last the life of the bike. Okay, Anna, thank you for your time here. This is the Hammer S. Stickers a little bit over 18. For the VOG.net, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Park.